This is actually an important point, believe it or not, because there is another such assumption that a lot of people have in their minds right now about global warming that just ain't so. The assumption is something like this. The earth is so big, we can't possibly have any lasting harmful impact on the earth's environment. And maybe that was true at one time, but it's not anymore. And one of the reasons it's not true anymore is that the most vulnerable part of the Earth's ecological system is the atmosphere. Vulnerable because it's so thin. My friend, the late Carl Sagan, used to say, if you had a big globe with a coat of varnish on it, the thickness of that varnish relative to that globe is pretty much the same as the thickness of the Earth's atmosphere compared to the Earth itself. And it's thin enough that we are capable of changing its composition. That brings up the basic science of global warming, and I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this because uh, you know it well. The sun's radiation comes in in the form of light waves, and that heats up the Earth. And then some of the radiation that is absorbed and warms the Earth is re-radiated back into space in the form of infrared radiation. And some of the outgoing infrared radiation is trapped by this layer of atmosphere and held inside the atmosphere. And that's a good thing because it keeps the temperature of the Earth within certain boundaries, keeps it relatively constant and livable. But the problem is this thin layer of atmosphere is being thickened by all of the global warming pollution that's being put up there. And what that does is it thickens this layer of atmosphere, more of the outgoing infrared is trapped. And so the atmosphere heats up worldwide. That's global warming. Now that's the traditional explanation. Of temperature increase. Now I'm going to show you recently released the actual ocean temperatures. And of course when the oceans get warmer that causes stronger storms. We have seen uh, in the last couple of years a lot of big hurricanes. Hurricane Jeannie and Francis and Ivan uh, were among them. And the same year that we had that string of big hurricanes, we also set an all-time record for tornadoes in the United States. Japan, again, didn't get as much attention in our news media, but they set an all-time record for typhoons. Previous record was seven. Here are all ten.